Zach here with Davis Painting. Just wanted to take a minute and talk to everybody about custom finishes and SOPs and how important they are. Um, I know tons of people have hit on this, but I just kind of want to give a couple examples today. We are doing a high gloss white project here in town. Uh, we got a spray on site due to the size of the piece. It could not be pre-finished, so we couldn't flat spray it. So everything's going to be sprayed vertical. It's about 30 feet long by maybe 10, 12 feet tall. Fun project, a lot of headaches. So what I've been working on today is trying to figure out the proper mix ratio for spraying this high gloss wet look by Circa. Uh, we're using the LPU-003 with the 6CTH-43 hardener. Uh, we are tinning it 15% with FBU-08, which is a white solvent colorant. And we are reducing it, we were reducing it 35% with PM acetate. Phenomenal finish when you're flat spraying at the shop. Pain in the ass when you're spraying on site vertical and you can't control the environment. Uh, so talked to the techs over at Gemini and Circa, put our heads together and came up with using the 9062, which is called their wet look reducer. It is a combination of a couple different thinners and solvents. Um, here at the shop today, we sprayed it out, we mixed it up with 20% reducer. Sprayed out a couple sample doors, MDF, pre-primed, just like we're doing on site. Try to create everything as it will be there. Hung them, we did one that was a raised panel door and one that was a flat. So we did the back side. It ran. I mean, the flat panel, it ran on second pass. The raised panel door, we let it set 30 minutes, put a couple more coats on there. And now I'm seeing a lip as well as another run on a part of the raised panel. So what that tells me, 20% reduction is not going to work. I need it to dry just a little bit faster. So we have to go back to the drawing board. I'm going to respray it with a 10% reduction. We'll see how that goes. Maybe we go up to 15, maybe 10 is perfect. Might drop down to zero reduction. I'm not really sure. Uh, but the whole purpose of this video uh, it's just to let everyone know that there is a process to creating these high-end finishes. It's not show up, pour the product out of the bucket, and spray it. You've got to test what you're doing. You've got to be in your shop, in your garage, whatever method you have for your business and your trade to get out there and test the product, make it mess up, try to mess it up, that way you know how to fix it. And when you get on site, you know what not to do. Or when you've got a project that you're being paid for, you know what not to do. Um, we learned that today. I mean, we did spray a coat with the 35% PM acetate reduction on site. Didn't work. I mean, we couldn't put it on thin enough. It looked great when we left, come back the next day and there was runs in it because the PM acetate slows it down so much. So we're gonna play with different reductions of the 9062 reducer by Gemini and Circa and see where that takes us. If that doesn't work, we go back to the drawing board and we find another reducer or we try no reducer. But Zach, Davis Custom Painting, hit the like button. Uh, subscribe on YouTube. I got tons more videos coming. Just kind of getting into this uh, tutorial thing hope everybody's enjoying it. Let me know if you want a review on anything or a how-to on anything. I'd love to help anybody out. So talk to you guys later.